Oh, but I think that the circle map, the tree map, and, and the, the flow, flow map, map are really the ones that have we've probably primarily used in our discussions because mm -hmm. it's kind of like, okay, what are we going to do? And you sort of throw it all in there, and then we have to, again, like Linda was talking about establishing roles and responsibilities. Or I think that one one map that we haven't I did used a cause and effect with behavior actually. <laughs> well, I was going to think that that even in scenario planning, which is what we are all about right now, given mm -hmm. the budgetary problems we're seeing that could come down the pike, using cause and effect mm -hmm. with. Uh, against some of the scenario planning <laughs> we're doing could be useful. Mm -hmm. It might be a good exercise to predict how then what might come to us from that and then how we would respond. I use the circle map and the tree map and the flow map mm -hmm. frequently, all three of those frequently. Mm -hmm. We should really do one on a drop in enrollment in preparation if we have to present to the board on the topic. Well tell us about your recent experience with the, the board that you <laughs> The board it put together over an 18-month period a strategic plan and voted it in in September and um, has really struggled with what is a very complex and comprehensive, pretty ambitious strategic plan. Um, it, it really got unwieldy at the board level. We had two, maybe three really tough, tough meetings where we just were getting nowhere. I thought, we need a map. We need a tree map. We need to break the plan down into doable portions and focus on the goals as opposed to the meeting of the goals, first of all. I took each of the areas, at, labeled it as the broad area, and then underneath the tree put the individual goals, areas of staff, board and staff, board responsibilities and then I interpreted it from the plan, broke it down and put each of these sub areas bulleted. Then these are all contained within the plan underneath the respective responsibility areas. We held the board meeting in the theater and I took two samples of the maps. I had done one for every single area, printed them all out in color. I brought my board chair and vice chair back in and met with them to say, okay, here's what I've done. Look at this seat if you like it. They loved it. Um, it made it, it, again, it just clarified everything. Everything broke out of it. Better yet, what's even more interesting is they said, not only that, but this is a great tool for evaluating your work as the head of the school. It fits perfectly. So as we go into evaluation of staff and administration, we're going to be developing that tool the same way. Okay, so we clarified it with the tree map, but now I also needed to give them an example of how they can now work with it Actually, that was the big, that because that was the hurdle by far, and brought out a flow map. I said, well, you know, the board said, convene a task force, an ad hoc committee to explore expansion. Plan the first meeting, establish a timeline for the committee work, conduct the research and gather information and data, complete the work by whatever that date is, and prepare and deliver a report to the board or prepare a report for board and delivery report to board. And it's ba-boom, 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 six months, done. It showed a way that in which the, the work becomes much more focused, it's ordered, it's discreet, it has its a beginning, it's got an end, and, it's, and there are uh, invisible outcomes. It puts, it gives people an extremely clear, very specific idea of what my work is going to be if I commit to this committee. Modeling that tool for the board members um, has been phenomenal. And the outcome was, and I have in my hand umpteen disks of Thinking Map software going to each and every board member because they asked for it. Wow. Because we demonstrated it up and said, yes, you too can make maps. And we're doing a training of the board members of just basic enough so that they can become proficient in using the maps. This has meaning now, it has relevance. They've seen it in action, they've seen it used. And this is a copy of the actual exercise. That's how it looked. That's what you gave to them. Mm -hmm. This is the whole strategic plan, so each area has its own section. Then I gave them this example of establishing that task force to say, okay, this is how you could use the flow map then to take an area in red on your plan, break it down, say this is what our sequence of events will be to meet this area, this job, this activity, this task we said we would do.